Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. I've got another Fusion 360 tutorial for you and this is another one that came in as a request. So in my last video, uh, I have a comment here from RV Jim D who says, I have a potential topic for you. I would like to make a tube with a pattern of small holes in the wall of the tube. The hole should be in a spiral pattern around the tube. Hope that makes sense. Thanks again for the videos. Okay, so let's give this a try. We need a tube with holes that spiral around it. So let's open up Fusion. And you can see I have already did this. <laughs> so I'll show you uh, my approach. Here's one example uh, that I did and uh, kind of played around with it. So kind of different hole sizes and um, tried different variations. So I'm actually going to show you what my first uh, approach was which was to use a coil and then try the pattern on a path around the coil. So this didn't work so well, but I want to show you anyway. So I actually ended up going through three different approaches, which made for a bit longer of a video than I wanted, but I felt it was important to not only show you just the part that worked, but show you guys my process of how I got there. What I did was I brought in a coil. So we'll go to create coil and I'll draw this. You have to choose a plane. So I'll choose my XY plane, start at the origin. And let's say we'll come out 100 millimeters, enter. And we get this coil. For now, the size really doesn't matter, the section size, but we'll make it thin, uh, let's say five millimeters. And I'll hit OK. Now the coil, the body of it, I don't really need. What I want is just this line here that kind of spirals around. So I can bring that in as a sketch. So what I'm going to do is go to sketch and then go to project include, do include 3D geometry. I have to choose a plane here. So I'll choose my ZX plane. Uh, and then I'm just gonna hover and select or highlight the path and I'll click on that and you'll see that it turns purple. So now I'll click on stop sketch and I really don't need this coil anymore. So I'm going to go to bodies, select it, right click and just go to remove. Okay, the next step I thought I would do would be to create a cylinder and then use that to pattern around the spiral. So we'll go to create another sketch here and I'm going to choose the ZX uh, plane again because that lines up right with this point here of the spiral. So I'll click on that and I'm just going to draw a line and I want to go ahead and, and snap to that uh, end point there. It's not working. So I'm going to hit escape and press P for project. And then I, you can see I can select it. My selection filter here is just set to a specified entity. So I'll choose that point, click OK. Now I'll hit L for line, uh, grab or start at that point. Just go up, draw a line. The size doesn't matter. Click the check mark. I'm going to go to stop sketch. And now I can go to construct, do a plane at angle, select my line, and I'm going to turn that 90 degrees and click OK. So now I have this plane going this way, uh, following this line here. So we'll go to create another sketch here, and I'm going to choose that plane. And C for circle, I'm going to start right at that center there, that origin. And let's make a cylinder. So I'll do like a five millimeter cylinder, enter, stop sketch, E4 extrude, select my profile. I'm going to extrude this in two directions, or actually I'm going to go symmetric here and just extrude this out a bit, click OK. And now let's pattern this. So I'll go to create pattern, pattern on a path. My uh, pattern type is bodies. Object is going to be the cylinder I just made the path is going to be the coil path here. And we can take this arrow and drag it all the way up. So we'll get it so that it'll actually snap, you know, right into that endpoint. So we go the whole extent. Uh, distance type is set to extent. Now we can choose the quantity. Um, let's do 30. And I'll click OK. And let's see what we have. So right away, I see a problem in that uh, this doesn't it doesn't spiral uh, perpendicular to the the coil path right so the edges here uh, you can guess next what I want to do is create a tube and then use a boolean operation here to subtract these cylinders from that tube but uh, in this case here it's fine but on the edges 
you know, it's not going to work because it's, it's trying to create these cylinders uh, along the path. Um, the only options I see that I have with the edit feature, so uh, what I did is just double click here on the timeline to bring back that feature. And I can change the orientation from identical to path direction. And that changes the direction, but it's still not what I want because now they're going in all sorts of crazy directions. So, so this way it didn't really work for me. It didn't give me um, the outcome I wanted. Uh, but if any of you guys know how to uh, change this, if there's a setting here I'm not seeing where I can get these directions to be perpendicular to that coil direction, uh, I'd love to hear it. So what I'm going to do is uh, abort this mission and let's go back now instead of doing the cylinders here I'm gonna take my timeline here I'm just gonna drag it back uh, let's see let's go back to where we have just a coil and this time instead of a cylinder let's try using a sphere so we'll go to uh, sketch create sketch and we'll choose uh, again this plane and I'm going to project this point again, so P for project, select it, click OK. And I'm going to go to create and then down to sphere. Uh, make a, or select that point to make my sphere. And let's say bring it up to like 30 millimeters. And hit enter. And OK, now let's try this again. So we'll go to create, pattern, pattern on a path choose my sphere and then my path is going to be my coil here uh, take my arrow drag it all the way up to the end and let's again make a bunch of these uh, 30 is a bit much for that size so let's do 20 and we'll go click OK okay so now that actually so it doesn't matter with the sphere that looks fine that would work um, so let's see how let's continue I'm gonna create another sketch here uh, on this, uh, let's do the ZX plane, and I'm just going to draw a line from the bottom. I'm going to reference the origin here, but I'm not going to start there. I'm going to start below it, and you'll see I get this dashed line showing me I'm lined up to it. So I'm going to draw that line straight up, uh, and then uh, go to stop sketch. And now I'm going to grab my pipe tool. So go to create, down to pipe, and I'm going to select that line, and let's go to a top view. And I'm going to use these arrows to increase the size of that pipe. So I'm just going to eyeball it now, but you can, you know, enter exact dimensions here. So we'll, we'll make our pipe, but instead of doing it as a cut, we're going to do a new body and then we'll click OK. And you see what we have. So uh, next we just do a Boolean operation. We'll go to modify, combine target body is going to be the pipe and the uh, tool bodies is everything else so the way we select that is that we'll select the first uh, body here after the body 52 which is our uh, our big pipe make sure tool bodies is here highlighted blue and so select that first body hold shift and then select the last body and it'll highlight all of them operation is cut so we'll click ok uh, let's get rid of sketches and you can see how that would work. Um, the problem here though is that, well, I don't know if it's a problem, but these uh, surfaces here, because it's a sphere, it's going to be curved, you know, instead of having straight surfaces uh, if you would have just done a cylinder. Um, okay, so that's that approach using pattern on a path. But I'm going to show you a different method of approaching this, which I think actually it works a bit better. Let's start with another new design here. So I'll click the little plus sign. With this next approach, we're going to start by creating a sketch on our XY plane. And we'll begin by drawing a line. So L for a line. And we'll make this 50 millimeters. Hit enter. And next, we'll create a circular pattern from this line. So we'll go to sketch down to circular pattern. I'm going to choose my object as my line and my center point is going to be the origin here. Then I can just increase the quantity by moving this arrow or changing it up. So let's say you want six, you can click OK and you've got six. Uh, here's a tip if you didn't know. If you change your mind and uh, you, for example, let's say you wanted three instead of six patterns, you can just hover over this little icon here. That's the circular pattern icon. Double click on it and you get your window back. So let's bring that down to three and I'll click OK and that go uh, amends it for you. 
So, okay, we're gonna stop there. We'll stop sketch and we'll go to create and we're gonna grab our pipe tool here. So we'll uh, click on that and we will click on one of these lines here. And I'm gonna keep my section size there as 10. So enter that in if you don't have it. And sometimes it lets me select two at a time. So I'll select another one. It won't let me do a third one. So what I'm gonna do is click OK, right click and go to repeat pipe. I'm gonna have to bring back that sketch. It disappeared on me. So I'm gonna expand sketches here and click the little light bulb. Now I can select it and I'm gonna have to change it to join instead of cut. Make sure the section size is 10 and click OK. So if you select the join, you should see that you should have just one body here. All right, next what we're gonna do is create a copy of this and rotate it. So let's get rid of sketches. We don't need to see that anymore. And I'm gonna hover over body one here under bodies, right click, go to move slash copy. I'm gonna click on this little widget here. Uh, first, make sure your move object is set to bodies. And then click on that little widget and then we're gonna position it right to the center here. And here's an important part. Don't forget to hit this check mark. I always forget to do that. Uh, click on that check mark and then go to create copy and we'll orbit to this front view here. And I'm gonna bring or drag this up and we'll do a 20 or 20 millimeter distance. And next, uh, don't hit enter yet because we're gonna rotate this and I'm gonna go uh, 40 degrees here. So we'll go 40 degrees. Uh, we'll just type that in and I'm gonna now hit OK. So why 40 degrees? Well, because uh, I'm gonna make another set of these and that's gonna give me a total of uh, three, six, nine arms. And basically you want the number of arms times your angle to be 360. So I'm gonna have a total of nine arms times uh, 40 degrees, which will give me 360 degrees. Um, so you can play around with this, play around with the angles, the number of uh, arms when you make your circular pattern to get the look you're looking for. So we'll click OK, and I'm gonna repeat that one more time. So I'm gonna right click on body two, go to move copy, click on the set pivot, uh, go ahead and center it, click on the check mark, uh, click on create copy, uh, don't forget to do that. And now we're going to rotate and move this up another 20 degrees. So our 20 millimeters, we'll do negative uh, 20 there. And then let's go back up to a top view and we'll rotate this. Uh, so I can move it, notice 40 degrees this way, we'll line it up to that other arm, or I can move it back 40 degrees this way. Uh, so we'll do a negative 40 degrees and I'll hit enter and now I've got these three different bodies here that are staggered 40 degrees apart. Next we'll create a rectangular pattern of this so we'll go to create down to pattern and we'll choose rectangular pattern. Change our pattern type from faces to bodies. Our objects uh, is going to be everything here so we'll draw a box around that. Uh, the direction, we'll click on it and choose our Z axis because we're gonna go up. Uh, quantity, skip that for now. Uh, distance, direction is one direction. We can take this arrow and start dragging it up and we can see uh, how this will start uh, showing us a preview of what it's gonna look like. Uh, the default is set to three, so we see three sets of that. Basically, I want this uh, that first body here to be right above here having these same spacings. So for distance type, let's go to spacing. And I know that the distance between these two is uh, 20. So that's 20, 40, and then another evenly spaced would be 60. So I want it to be 60 millimeters where it's gonna start. So for distance type, I'm just gonna highlight that and type that in 60 millimeters from that one. And then I can change the quantity if I want. So we'll do like five of these and then I'll click OK. And there's my pattern. Now, if you saw my Christmas tree tutorial, you'll see the resemblance that this is kind of the approach I took to make the uh, sort of spirally um, leaves, or I guess it was a pine tree. So spirally branches. Um, okay, so at this point, we can continue the same way where we'll create a sketch here on the, uh, doesn't matter which plane really, we'll choose the ZX. 
and I'm going to draw a line again. I'm going to hover uh, to reference that mid uh, origin there. Click below it and then go up. Make sure it's a vertical line. You'll see your vertical constraint and we'll click that check mark. Stop sketch and then we'll go to create uh, down to pipe and we're going to do a pipe and we need to bring in that sketch. So I'm going to click on that light bulb and we'll select our line and next we can uh, let's go to a top view and we can make our pipe here so we can just use this, these arrows or the this arrow here uh, let's say we'll make that 90 millimeters and if you want to make it hollow there's a box for that we can check it and make it hollow and we can answer what that section thickness we want it to be so let's say 10 millimeters and we'll change it from a cut to a new body click OK all right now we just have to cut away uh, these uh, these holes and you can see our spiral effect there um, so that that's looking good that's what we want so next is just a boolean operation so we'll go to modify uh, down to combine our uh, target body uh, should be well we can select it from here or actually we can just grab it uh, from our design here so we'll choose our big pipe as our target body and then our tool bodies is everything else. So once it's highlighted, we can select it on our uh, bodies here under our browser. Uh, click the first one, hold shift, and then click the last one, and then it'll grab all of them. We're going to change this from a, a join to a cut, and then we're gonna click OK. And there it is, so we'll remove sketches. And so there's our Spyro 2B effect. Um, all right, let me know what you guys Think. Um, if you find the other uh, approach or if you find a way to get the other approach to work where we do a um, circular pattern or a pattern on a path around a coil, uh, let me know. Um, but um, for you know now, I, I, this is really the, the best approach I can see. Well, it gets me the desired results, so, uh, and it's pretty straightforward. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you have a uh, question or a suggestion on a tutorial you'd like me to do, maybe a process you're struggling with or you can't figure out, uh, let me know in the comments below. I may go in and review the comments and say, okay, that, that's a good one I can do. Um, just make sure it, it's actually uh, a question about like a design process. Um, I, I'm not gonna go in and do a tutorial. For example, I get requests like, hey, can you model me a Stormtrooper helmet? Like, I'm not gonna do that. But if you have a specific question on, on, a, on a process uh, that you're looking to do with Fusion 360, um, I may go in and take a look and do a video on it. Uh, all right, guys, uh, take care. Uh, thumbs up if you like this, and don't forget to subscribe. And check out my website, desktopmakes.com, where uh, I actually, um, revised the website and added some new courses on there. So uh, make sure to take a look. All right, take care.